All right, good morning and welcome. Yeah, it is morning for me. Working night shifts will mess up your brain. Um, click on it. All right. So, uh, last week, the storyline kind of got decimated because of a um, tornado that th ripped through our town. It killed a few people, unfortunately. Uh, but to summarize what happened... Um, Abigail and Histon started the ritual to open portals everywhere for, or open a portal, um, and Sir Wellington decided to, well, no, Sir Wellington accidentally got summoned into the middle of the portal somehow. So, Sir Wellington finds himself, oh no. So, so Wellington actually finds himself in the middle of a, um, in the middle of this ritual and decides he wants to mess it up. In doing so, he unintentionally takes the one portal and starts opening up, like, hundreds in the room. Uh, it took them some, some time, but Abigail and Histon managed to get him to give them back the book. Um, and then they yeeted him into... No, Histon, uh, Histon was about to talk to him, and Coraline came in, and Micah. Micah saw what was going on, freaked out, so Histon had the, the zombies kind of drag her back out. Um, Dolores was very helpful. Uh, and, um, then Coraline came in, uh, looked at Sir Wellington, screamed and cast banishment on him. Holy crap. Uh, also, they freaking took my boy! <laughs> oh. So. Oh, no one's being spared in that freaking tower. Wait, we didn't take him. He, yeah, he spawned himself up, there. Spawned himself in there and then started running around being a little chaos bean. Yeah. I didn't do anything. Uh -huh. I like my story. <laughs> I just read my book. The whole time I was just reading my book. It was a totally normal book. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was, it was a completely normal book that, that just happened to have arcane magic linked to it. Yeah, normal stuff All right. So, where we are now, uh we're going to pick back up with Abigail um as she continues uninhibited with the ritual. Mm-hmm. Okay. Or do we want to start with... Oh, yeah, so... 
<clears throat> Almost forgot. Introductions. So I'll do the introductions tonight since a couple of our players will be acting. Um, they're, they're, they're playing remotely, so they're, they're going to be off camera, at least for a while for one of them. Um, so uh, we have Sir Wellington up in the top right corner. Um, played by uh, Ian or Artful Thinking on uh, social media, um, and then Selkie who plays Kali Nanka, um, and then of course on the right we have our beloved Abigail played by Naz and Marcus played by uh, Matt. So um, we'll go ahead and get started here with that. Since we had a mostly Abigail themed. Mm, session last week let's actually start with marcus all right so marcus right. you after traveling for a couple of months uh you kind of got lost up in the mountains there uh looking for this ruin of an ancient temple um you do eventually find it um it just took you a while and you actually wound up walking in circles for a, a time mountains are easy to get lost in hmm. Hmm. i feel very moses that way <laughs> okay Hmm. Well, you did finally make it. And, um, one evening as Sir Wellington went to bed, What the heck? What oh no! She put a she put a note in chat. Sure thing. Okay, one of our players uh, just lost connection for a minute. So let me reposition you. Reposition you. Okay, we're good to go. But hey, that'd be good though if uh, she yeah. could leave early. What the heck? Oh. I think I figured out what happened. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, one second. Your head is split in two. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, that kind of works. Do I want to know what happened? <laughs> Just looks like you're, you're through a weird mirror. Um, uh-huh, right. Oh, dang it. Okay. Technical difficulties love to haunt me. The technological world hates me. I'm so kind to our beloved robotic overlords, and yet they still torture me. So, <clears throat> to, um, I'm going to just go here. All right, so if I, I just got to move Marcus above Ka uh, Abigail. There we go. Problem solved. Okay. So, um, you woke up that morning and kind of went out and, oh, no, wait, that would have been that evening because of when the ritual happened. Um, so as you went to bed one evening, um, you woke up in the middle of the night to find Sir Wellington is just, he's not there. Okay. Is there anyone else with me, or is it just me? Just you. The others are traveling behind you, you know that, but they have not come across you. It's possible you missed them in the mountains somewhere. Of course. So as of now, it is, it is just you. Yeah, he's going to wake up and just kind of... Uh, and just kind of look over to where Sir Wellington is sleeping to make sure he's all right. And he's not there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's the... Sir, Sir Wellington? Sir Wellington? And he's going to just, just kind of start looking around, looking for any signs of where he could have gone off to. Oh, God, please tell me that you just built one of your tunnels. Please. 
Um, you guys are camped right out front of the temple that you found. Okay. You haven't gone inside it yet. Would, uh, would the goddess have told... Wait, the goddess told him that the temple was safe, right? Or is it not safe? She said it was safe. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna... Like, he's gonna look around for a decent amount of time. And... Just as soon as he figure, Like, doesn't see anything, he just... Take a deep breath go... Oh, please, Sir Wellington. Please tell me you just went to the temple by yourself. Please tell me you just went to the temple by yourself. And he's gonna just... I mean, no, he's not gonna sleep. He's gonna head there. He's gonna be like, I'm gonna go to the temple. <laughs> he's gonna go back to sleep. No, <laughs> and he's like, I can't sleep. I need to find my kid. Make a perception so. check as you approach the temple. Okay. Q Indiana Jones theme music. Bum 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 ba da dum dum. No, I'm kidding. I was like, you know, it had to be like the quiet one because. Well, yeah, I'm I'm thinking um, the Holy Grail theme. Yeah. Uh, that's a. That's slow, almost mournful music. Unnatural twenty. Yeah, unnatural twenty. Mm, has to be natural. The uh, gods don't like things that are unnatural. Uh huh. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I fell for that. <laughs> oh no! It totally did. Math, Ouch! <laughs> so bad now. <laughs> but yeah, what? What do I know it is? There are ancient writings on there. Um. Do you read Celestial? I do believe I do. Let me double check here. Yes, I do have Celestial. I'm like, I'm a cleric. I need to have Celestial. Right. So, this temple is not just a temple to one goddess. It was built to two. Twin sisters, in fact. Or, uh, well, sisters. An elder and a younger. Okay. I mean, twins still have elder and younger siblings, technically, it's just by menace, but still. Anyway, Seconds are minutes. Seconds are menace, but anyway, continue. <clears throat> this was built to a pair of sisters who were both ascended to godhood after the, um, after the great war, War of the Gods. Okay. Hmm. On that. <clears throat> it was originally built to a pair of goddesses. Uh, one oversaw. Well, um, tells the story of them. Check my notes. Ah, this sucks. All right, there we go. It was originally built to a pair of uh, sister goddesses 
one of whom being more temperate and the other being more passionate. Both were uh, are known as uh, primarily elven gods who worked to protect uh, forested the forested realms of the world, uh, formerly druids. So they both work in. Uh, they're known as nature based goddesses. Mm, okay. Um. Ollie is the younger and more passionate one. <clears throat> and Hanali is the elder and more temperate one. else interesting at the at the temple as he's walking uh, when he gets to the front door the door is locked okay so at least that means for him Sir Wellington didn't get through there but now he's even more worried uh, is there any way to get it open at all Give a tug on the door. I tug on the door. One second. Need to let suck back in. Okay. And yeah, then let, readjust the. You know, let let sell back in. Eyes. There we go. I think we're good. Okay, so we got me there, so pull you here. You oh, there. Hold on. Pull you I'll here. be right back. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. And I think I got the situation with the, um... The darn dropped frames fixed, I hope. So, hang on. All right, so while Felky gets back into the call and settled and uh, Matt runs real quick, um, Naz, I'll give us a three-minute break. So if you need to run to the restroom or anything, you can real quick. And I'll take my plate of stuff that is stacked here and take it to the kitchen real quick. And then when we get back, we will be back on again.
we are oh, we are muted. Uh, now we are back. All right, we are back. <clears throat> As the chaos resumes. Yeah, he tugs on the door. I'm apparently dehydrated. <laughs> he hears a voice within his head. Marcus, my loyal follower, I see you have made it. Wait, is this Caliade or is this Ali? This is Ali. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't. That was me asking that. Oh, okay. okay. But, okay, so he recognizes it's, it's uh, Ali. He goes, yeah. Yeah, I was able to make it. The doors unlock and swing open. Gotta take a deep breath and keep going further on. So, All right. I may ask as he's locking. What? What's here that I need to see or, or do? As you enter, you find a large domed cathedral with stained glass that, were it not buried under everything, Were it not buried, you would be able to see sunlight streaming through these stained glass windows. Yeah. And in front of rows and rows and rows of pews is a uh, pair of altars. One to Ollie and one to her sister, Hanali. Okay. Are you sure the sister is in heel flip? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess he'll head over to the one for Ollie, and then uh, he'll just kind of see it, kneel, and see like if there's like any special prayer book that. There he is, or scroll that he has to cite. Give an investigation check. Give me an investigation check. Uh, what is Marcus's intelligence? That's a 14. Alright. You find on the altar lies a prayer book, a holy symbol, and a key. But you can't seem to find where the key goes to. Nothing strikes you right away as this is where the key needs to, to go. Okay. I guess he'll take the holy symbol and then uh, kind of just hold it in his hand. He just kind of start looking through the prayer book. Alright. For a appropriate one. Don't know if a nature goddess has any prayers about going on crusades or anything like that, but he'll look for one. <laughs> uh, she is a goddess of passion. Uh, she, is, she is a passionate goddess, so... um. She, she does have some, actually, in there. Her sister would not, but she does. Hmm. All right. So, 
So he'll just find the one that more so or less fits his situation. And then just holding the holy symbol in his hand and just kind of like glancing at the key like wonder what it's for. Uh, he's just going to start uh, to say the prayer. As he prays, he hears her voice in his head again. You are, you are in the temple, yes. Uh, I am, yes. Look to the back of the room, behind the altars. He's going to take the key and look behind the altars. Turn to page 666, I'm getting. <laughs> um, oh my, that's a lucky number. All right. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, freak, why not? We'll keep that. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll, go to, I'll go to page 666. <laughs> Good gosh. And, and read the prayer of... Uh, and read the prayer of... Doggone it, what was the name of that prayer? Pilgrimage, the prayer of pilgrimage. Okay. Uh, so wait, head behind the altar, then do the prayer, then? Go to the door. Make another investigation check with advantage. Okay. Sir Wellington. You find wait. yourself hurled out of a portal right back at your campsite. Well, not so much hurled as... A portal opens up and you take your chance and jump through it. And you find yourself Huh. You're you're back at the campsite. Uh the portal is still open behind you, however. Now how do I close this? This should not be here. Uh oh Wait, does that mean that this is... She said that they would just be the one portal, though, right? She did. Oh, no. So there's... Oh, there's more portals that probably... That's not good. Okay. It... Looking at it, does like can, am I able to think of like a way that he to close the portal? Um, let me see. Roll an Arcana check for me. Yeah. With advantage, since it is coming from your your home plane of existence, or thing. Okay. That second one is definitely better. Uh, so, 821. Okay. Not bad. If you... Do you happen to have Dispel Magic? Um... No. Okay. Because casting it a spell magic on it should shut it down. Okay. If you are physically touching it, though. Okay. Oh, touchy. Oh, touchy. Um, 
Marcus is nowhere to be found at the camp. He's still not here? Where did he go? Can you give me a perception check? 13. <laughs> Barely makes it. Um, you hear voices echoing from inside the temple. Okay. Um, I look at it, I'm like, oh yeah, I need it. All right, so you're just going to run in there looking for Marcus. Uh, as you enter, you find Marcus um, kneeling, well, no, no, you got up and you're looking for the door now, right? Yeah, He's, that was a 19, by the way. Whew, yeah, you find it. Uh, it You thought it was just like a, an artistic piece of work because it, it doesn't look like a real door. It looks more like it's just kind of an embossment in the uh, in the wood um, back of the wall there, the mahogany wall. Um, kind of oh, like an embroiderment. A, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's just car It looks like it's just carved in. It doesn't look like a real door. But the keyhole there... Matches the keyhole in your hand. Or the key in your hand. Um, and like, you, you, so, Sir Wellington, you find Marcus standing in front of this artwork. Oh, there you are. Um, so, the, so, Sir so, Wellington? Yes. Where the hell were you? So, some things happened, and, um, they're not great, um, but do you by any chance know how to dispel magic? Uh, hold on, let me look at his spell list. I don't think I can get Is that a skit, even? I mean, it doesn't matter, he doesn't, so he'll, he'll just kind of let go. Uh, I, I do, I do not. Well, well that's I... unfortunate. Um, because there's a portal at the camp's ground, because, um, I, I was looking for you earlier and I came into the, uh, temple and I was not happy with, uh, Ollie. And so I was kind of sassing wait, 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 Ollie. You, and wait, you talked with, wait, you talked and with then, Ollie? And then I got teleported to Abigail and, um. Wait, to Abigail? There were portals being opened, and I took the book, and then, and then a bunch of portals started opening up, and the person that Abigail was working with, uh, this old dude, was like, "Give me the book. There's only one portal." And so, I, 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 I he, he was, he seemed, tr he, like, he did wasn't lying, and so, I gave him the book. But then, some lady showed up, and I bamf, and then uh, another portal opened up, and I, I was like, this is not, they, they sent me to a not a good area, and then I, another portal opened up, and I was able, and it was right at the camp, and I don't know why I was right at the camp, but I was able to go through, um, because that's not a nice area that they sent me to. All right, Sir Wellington. I love you, but you just spewed out a bunch of shit, and I am just trying to make sure I understand this correctly. You were there with Abigail. Yes. You saw her and this really old guy do some weird shit. Yes, with a bunch of people, and and there was like mad, there's like electric going through them, and they said they're conduits. All right, that's that's not. That does not inspire confidence. They they said that they will not be that they that they will not be hurt. I highly doubt that. Uh, the person was not lying. All right. At least I don't think they were lying, and his eyes get really big as he looks down. Yeah, let, let's just let's just assume that he was lying. 
let's be honest. The, anyway. Abigail. That's not good. And then... <laughs> wait. <laughs> Pardon me. Nothing... Nothing followed you through the portal, did it? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I I I I I don't know. I can't close it. I know that I need to dispel magic, but I cannot dispel magic. I can counter magic, but I cannot dispel magic. All right, I had to. Okay. Good thing I'm not nobody's ever. That sounds the same thing. Anyway, we. It is not the same thing. I know it probably ain't, but uh. Countering I... magic means I can do it when the person does it, but if it's already happened. I can't just counter magic. I have to dispel magic, and that's a different that's a different ball game. Uh, Markham, how far away is the entrance door where they were, where they entered in? Uh, like, that? like maybe thirty feet. Okay, he's gonna very quickly realize that some realize that uh, as yeah, they're okay, talking. Okay, maybe sixty feet. It's a rather large temple. Ooh, Fair enough. Sorry. He's, gonna he, he's gonna move forward, close the door, and hoping that like since he was able to open it only because like he's with Allie, that nothing else can open it. Give me a and just... Oh, I'm not even gonna need. Um, as you shut the door, you hear shrieks on the other side of it, and something begin pounding on the door or some things. Oh, that doesn't sound good. He's just gonna turn to Sir Wellington. <laughs> and just And that's why we always close doors. <laughs> and he's going to go back to the uh R and uh try and find the keel. Now, where is that? Uh, uh the what? Uh, he's going to turn to Sir Wellington. By the way, please stick close to me. I do not want to lose you right now. Okay, well... So earlier, I, when I woke up, I looked for you for like five minutes, and I did not see you, and then I came into the temple, and that's when I was... Needless to say, with everything that's going on, I'm going to just be honest. Can I be honest with you, Marcus, or are you going to get upset with me as well? No, I promise I will not be upset. Okay, you have not been fun to be around. You're being a little sour puss. Fair enough. And, and and so I was complaining to Ali about that, and I was like, either you fix this and get us to Abigail, or put me in touch with Kevin. And then I got bamfed. He's just gonna just kind of look at him. Like, he's not angry. He's too confused and frightened to be angry at this point. You're like, yeah, yeah. And now that actually is something you would do. And he's just gonna go through the door. Well, I mean, I, I guess I appreciate you trying to talk to the goddess but no obviously uh, something something happened i don't know if it was the goddess or not but i ended up at abigail but that was uh, abigail was not very happy to see me i'll tell you that much yeah i, I can that i fully believe not at all. look i'm sorry i've been a little bit of a sourpuss i'm sorry about that there's a lot going through my right Right also, now, can you just imagine, like, Abigail said we're not friends? He's gonna... <laughs> he, he's gonna he's turn so cause, offended. Because so Sir Wellington genuinely sounds, like, offended and sad at that, and he goes, um, I'm sorry, he said, she said you weren't friends, buddy. I mean, would you pull pranks on people who are not your friends because... That that is in my. That's what you do to friends. I mean, to be fair, Sir Wellington, some people just like to pull pranks on anybody. Yeah, that 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 is fair. But I guess with you, it does mean you do care about the person. So I 
I am sorry that she said you weren't friends. You're my friend, though. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you, kid. Now, yeah, excuse me. I need to find the fucking keyhole on this thing. Why, why is this so fancy? I, I know it's a chapel and everything. And it is very beautiful, Allie. Can I but see why does it have to be so fancy? Huh? You can make a Marker perception me. or investigation check. Uh, see perception. I'm higher with that. Uh, that is a 15. And what did Sir Wellington say? Okay. Oh, he's just um, asking if he could look too. Okay. Yeah, as, as you're saying, like, if this is so difficult. He's just wanting to look over, see if he can see it. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I got a 15 with that. Uh, 22. Yeah, yeah. Sir Wellington spots it. <laughs> uh, quite a few say, like, you're, you're looking and you know it's right around here. And he goes, right there. <laughs> it's, it's right there. That, that keyhole. Well, oh, thank you, Sir Wellington. I thought that was just another leaf. All right. I thought you said it was difficult. Eh, I guess some are better investigated than others. And he's gonna put the key in and turn it. He just shrugs. Um, with that, I would like to do a quick flashback to Sir Wellington um, visiting with Kevin. Okay. So, Sir Wellington, back when you first got banished, you found yourself looking around for you immediately recognize where you were, first of all. Just seeing the seeing trees everywhere. Very vibrant colors. No way. You're looking for Kevin. You're immediately you're immediately thinking, oh, where's Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, where are you? Hey, um... And then I just, as I'm doing that, I walk up to the door and just start pounding on it. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, just a moment. I, uh, the door opens and a, and, a, and a short winged being kind of flutters out and just kind of like leans. Um, yes, man. Oh, my dear. Oh, dog on it. What was the... <laughs> Oh, my dear boy, it's so good to see you again. Oh, you are a sight for sore eyes, Kevin. <laughs> so it is. Uh, it is Man, a... Man, the, the, the past... The, oh, my eyes. The past two years has been... Crazy! Fill me in, fill me in. What's going on? Hmm. So, uh, when, when oh. I and I just uh, I got like d left. It was not on purpose, and I came to, and there was uh, a bunch of like people in these like robes, and they were not nice people, and they were they they realized that I was not what they were wanting, and then they tried to kill me. And so I ran and hid, and I found this this bag right here, and it's, it's it had a lot of really cool stuff in it, and I realized that I'm I'm decent with doing magic stuff, and so I've been using the book inside, and I pull out the book, and I'm like, so I've been using this, and yeah, and then I and and then I heard about this place. And they have really good food there. And so when I was on the run, I was like, oh, I should go and try this place where it's really good food. And because it's far away from the people who are chasing me. So I got on a boat to go there and I met lots of really cool kids. And and then um, and, and, and then we got shipwrecked on this on this really, really shitty place. It was it was like it looked it looked like a desert, but worse than a desert because everything was black and there was no life and all the life there that were like mutant creatures and it was weird. And then, 
you know, there are people there, we kept mis- losing people or people dying, and then we were attacked by were demons, and then uh, and we die. got to a place where they were like, oh, you can't come in here because you're evil, and I was like, I don't think I'm evil, and then anyways, they also kicked out one of our other friends because they said he had stuff on him that was evil, but that was because another friend said they were pranking him, um, and they weren't there at the time to say that it was a prank so he he got kicked out as well and then we were trying to find them and uh we found abigail and then uh the they sent me away and i ended up here um so yeah oh dear boy that sounds absolutely dreadful i know do you have any cookies Oh, always. I always have cookies. <laughs> yes! I've been missing them. Come I in, ran out in. a while well, you, you fixed up. There's nothing evil about you except perhaps some of your pranks. They're kind of dangerous. Now, let's see. Um, we have a chocolate chip. We have a chocolate chunk. Chocolate uh, we chip. have chocolate double chocolate. chocolate chip. Um, we have triple chocolate. Um, we have um, quadruple chocolate. And we have quintuple chocolate. And uh, we have oatmeal raisin. Quintuple chocolate. All right. I'm kidding. I don't carry oatmeal raisin. I'm not evil. And he will, um, he will <laughs> flutter back. But it would make a funny joke. I'm kidding. Yeah, of course I have oatmeal raisin. <laughs> um, he'll, he'll flutter back out with chocolate chip and he'll be like, enjoy, my boy. Thank you. He breaks off a piece and gives it to Snickers. Snickers chomps in. Yeah. But it's okay, you can dig in. I'll get some for me as well. And he goes and flutters back with a cookie of his own. Man, it's, it's it, this is this is so good. Um, I do think that at some point I need to go back and help them uh, if possible. Uh, because something's not right. And I don't think it's like... I know that you wouldn't want me to leave friends behind as well, Kevin. No, of so course I, not. <laughs> we, I think I need. We need How do you to, like your cookie, by the way? It's so good. Yeah. It's, yeah. I missed it. Dude, Kevin, you make the best cookies. I, my dear I, boy, I, you've been through some serious trauma over there. You didn't even notice. You're eating the oatmeal raisin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Here's a chocolate chip, and he hands him a proper one. He just melts like oh, <laughs> oh. What the, what are they feeding you over there that you couldn't tell the difference between a chocolate and a raisin? Oh my. Well, for the for the past month, all I've really had is uh, saltine crackers and beef jerky. Oh good heavens, that is awful. Tell you what, first chance we get, we'll invade, destroy their infrastructure, and set something proper in place, eh? Can't have people uh, the, 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 the the saltine and beef jerky were what I had on me. I don't care what they um, call evil. That is evil. Yeah, I don't. I don't. The other thing that I have, and I just I pull out the pie, because it's. I still have the pie from the. the from the from the. From the <laughs> oh yeah, 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 the demon pie. Yeah, <laughs> I have this as well, but. I wanted to save it for, like, when it was, like, a really good time to eat it. But uh, there, it, just, it was not fun being around Marcus, and it didn't feel like a good time to eat it. Uh, that's that's perfectly understandable. Sounds like your friend is a real drag. Well, they haven't been the most fun to be around the, the past month because, yeah, they, they were, they were, uh, yeah, they were not very happy. Well, I tell you, we keep an eye open for any portals. They're working on portals. Don't they realize? I will portals? say, I, 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 the, the place would do that was before, um, when we, when I was there. Um, does, do I know the name of the continent? By the way. Yeah, yeah, they said it several times. Yeah. Gashale. Okay, so when we were on Gashale, um, the. There was a time where I was when I was a lizard lady with big boobies, and um, what the hell did they put you through? 
<laughs> I, I, it was it was interesting. It was interesting, Kevin. Like I, I, I tell you what, there there was like this is some other stuff, but it, it was really interesting. And um, so during that time, it was like I was seeing stuff, and um, then I saw these portals open, and I saw I saw your house when the portals open, and then oh, a yes. bunch of people. I remember when that but happened. Closed it, and and but then a bunch of like demons came through the other portals. Yes, that was quite the interesting experience. I did yeah. not want my home opened up to that horrible place. Yeah, so 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 that that's where I've been. Mortal realms are such a bore. It's way better here. That's where. That's where. That's yeah. I I can agree with that. Um. Uh, so that's where I've been the past year and a half, or so or year. I don't know. Like time goes really, uh, it goes really weird there, and I forget. Like, yeah. That's understandable, my boy. Now, don't you worry about a thing, okay? Hmm. I'm okay. going to get you prettied up because you look like a disaster, complete disaster. And he will, um, he'll yeah. flitter back inside. And, um... I'll, I'll just uh, follow behind. All right, yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll hold the door for you and, and usher you inside. Let's get you a bath, let's get you all cleaned up, because, yes, we this won't do, this won't do. This yes, won't do. I've been, I haven't had been able to properly get clean in a long while, and it's not been fun. It, it, the, everything's just been super dirty, and, man... Uh, the, like even the food, like at times, like I'm, I like I want to clean things, and like I can do, I can do like some stuff. Like my food is fine for the most part because I learned how to do this thing called prestidigitation, where I can go and it cleans my stuff for me. So the, my food is fine, um, but then a lot of other stuff is just like it's not as clean as I would like it to be, but it's okay. I mean, that's what happens when I guess I dig holes as well. <laughs> well, you can dig holes all you want here. And I promise to make sure you stay clean while doing so. Just a little bit of magic. Not a problem. Not a problem. We can, we can work that out. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good. All right. Let's get started. And he uh, flutters away and, and uh, starts uh, run, uh, running a tub for him. And uh, with that, we'll flip over to... Uh, Selkie, uh, are, are you in a place where you can talk at the moment? Would you like to jump to Cali? Or would you like me to wait until you are um, back or on your way back or something? Um... Uh, okay, she only can do chat. Okay, so you can do chat for now. Um, you only got like half an hour left, though, right? Something like that. In that case, we will jump to Abigail. <laughs> All right. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Fifteen minutes. Sweet. Okay. Good. <clears throat> All and, right. And, and I'm curious. Am I am I seeing Abigail from where we left off last time right now? What do you mean? With the portals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Abigail is still doing the portals. Okay. Well, I didn't know if I missed it because of when no, I came no, in. No, I no. wasn't sure if no, I missed we anything. No, were, we were actually doing entirely um, uh, discourse between Marcus and his goddess. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, this is the first time we've cool. managed to bump over to... Yeah, late night coming home. Work sucks. Yeah. Um... Uh, so, yeah, we jump over. Uh, Abigail, you have uh, you've been given the book back. You have regained control. The hundreds of portals that were opening up in the room, thanks to Sir Wellington's interference, have been reduced back down to that one central portal in the middle. Um, everyone has been struggling to escape from the ritual. No success so far. Um... And you have you have regained. Can you give me another Constitution saving throw? This is for damage. 
I didn't take any damage, should I? No, no, no. This is for see to see if you drop the book when the the arc hits you and passes through you. If you're so it's to, is it to maintain concentration on a spell when I take damage? Yes. I have, a, I have advantage on the, okay. But do it. But I don't actually take damage. Oh, thank no, you God, don't take damage. advantage. <laughs> what do you mean? Whoa, these both suck. At advantage, that's ten. Oh, no. Yeah, you get back up there, you're like, all right, you read the first three words, the uh, energy arcs back through you, you squeal and drop the book, and the, the portals begin opening again, and Histon just stands up and, like, glares at you and shoves the book in your face and says, stop dropping the book, you're going to destroy everything. You hold the fucking book then. No, I, no, hold I Hold the book! You, you can hold the book, you got this. Stop arcing the fucking energy in my I'm face, not then. I'm arcing she the keeps, energy. She keeps just... reading. She cuts him off and starts reading. Very rude. Uh, one more, one more time of rolling. Uh, another con. Yes. Okay. With advantage, because it's main concentration. She, she's so weak today. Oh my god. But um, I didn't see the full number. I think that's like. I don't know, uh, but advantage, okay, uh, 14. <laughs> Meets it, beats it. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold it. Trust it again. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you almost dropped the book, and you're like, eh, and you may still hold on to it, and, like, Histon's, like, giving you a dirty look, like, hmm. <laughs> um... But you managed to hold on to the book this time. Just barely, but you do. And and the portals decrease once again back down to just the one. And the one is slowly becoming more solid. Give me a... Hang on. Reading check. A reading check. Reading check. Um, Can she read? No. Let's well, do an intelligence check. Straight intelligence? Yeah, why not? Okay. 18. Okay, perfect. You managed to read the book properly. Everything's pronounced the way it's supposed to be pronounced. Um, and, and the portal just whoosh, solidifies. And through the portal, you see this foggy, misty realm. <laughs> okay. And... On the other side, you see a large <clears throat> large thing on the other side. A large thing. It's that's a pretty good way to describe it. Just doing this. <laughs> this was all a prank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just Sir Wellington flipping you off. <laughs> yes, that's my boy. <laughs> nice. A large thing, like a rock, a per Usually creature. when it's a thing, it's probably a creature. Yeah. Uh, give me a religion check. Oh, this is Histon's buddy. Religion. Go, please. 17. Okay. What you see before you... It's a strange... It looks like just mounds of flesh held together with chains. With three or four mouths in the lower front area. What the fuck? It's got two eyes kind of above the mouths. Okay. And just horns kind of jutting out from random areas of its bulbous flesh. Um, which seemed to be dripping a, a viscous green and red liquid down into a pool at its 
Well, actually, it's hovering. It just has a couple of little tendrils that kind of... Little fleshy tendrils that, that kind of, like, hang down and appear to be prehensile below it. Um, it seems to, if anything, be held from not floating away by the chains that, that hold it, kind of, like, wrap around its body almost like it's holding it together, and then end in, like, large weights on the ground. Awesome. Great. That's a weird way to describe a gibbering mouther. It's not exactly. No, I know. <laughs> it, it was just, there's enough of a similarity there that I had to make the joke. Right. Can you give me a religion check? Another one? Oh, where'd you roll? I forgot I already had you roll one. 17. 17? Ah. You have read about this thing. Oh. Wow. It's lovely. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Yay, I found a demon that Selkie won't smash. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, one that Selkie wouldn't smash. That's that's incredible. <laughs> I have okay. Done it. <laughs> um <laughs> what? What stands or hovers before you on the other side of this portal is you're pretty sure it's called a Sibrix. 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 Sibrix? I don't know. Yeah, you're not even Sibrix. sure how to pronounce it. Yeah, Sibrix. <laughs> oh, okay. um, you're not entirely sure how to pronounce it. Because... You've, you've never heard the name spoken. You've seen it written out. But you've never heard it spoken. Mostly because no one dares talk about this thing. It is a very powerful demon. Ah. Uh, it's a demon? Oh, yeah. That much you okay. are sure of. Okay. <laughs> and then next to... The demon, uh, the demon's portal. A second portal begins to open. Uh, after a few minutes of you reading, that one solidifies as well, and the demon has just kind of been waiting there patiently. And then out of that portal, this portal seems to be opened into a room of inky blackness that just... It seems to almost be alive, like the realm itself is alive. Oh, and it's just this, this inky blackness that appears to be moving everywhere and nowhere at the same time in there. And kind of streaks of almost bioluminescent purple streak through it. And then to the right of the central portal, the demon portal, is... Another portal that opens, and this portal opens into this strange, almost obsidian room. And in that room, there are standing a couple, what look like skeletons. They, they look like they're skeletons. They're 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 blacks, but they but they're they're black skulls and and bodies like. Um, I'm trying to think of a good way to describe it. Um, <laughs> I know these mother truckers. Yes, you do. Uh, I know yeah, these pendejos. Yeah, I know them too, I think. <laughs> their, their hands don't look like skeletal hands. It looks almost more like this bone is an exoskeleton. And they have, they have hair that kind of like wibbles and waves, almost like it's flame on top of their head. Or I some sort of gelatinous like substance. Substance. Their eyes are kind of a glowing red, and um, they're they're wearing kind of <coughs> tattered armor for the most part. Ghost Rider, is that you? <laughs> right. That's and, what I thought uh, when I first saw these things. As these these yeah. these um these black bone skeletons kind of step forward and out of the portal into the room. They go. No, I have to remember what was it. Hello, and welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. To whom do we owe this honor? Oh, wonderful. All right. 
presenting his most magnificent eminence. Is that right? No, that's right. No, that, no, no, no. I did it. No, you, you do the greeting. I do the introduction. No, I do the introduction. You do the greeting. No, I'm pretty sure it's the other way around. Besides, you miss it. No, 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 no. Trust me. Trust me. And they immediately begin to bicker with each other. <laughs> uh, pain and panic. Am I still supposed to be reading, or do I know I'm done reading? You are... You Not don't sure. know, actually. He never specified that. What to do? Have I run out of text? No, no. There's, there's. You've reached the end of a paragraph, but there's, there's more text. I'll just keep reading and like glance, like, uh, but like keep reading, but like glance up at people. Like, you're gonna cue me if I'm supposed to change course, right? <laughs> you're right. Yeah. <laughs> um. So actually, make an intelligence check. Okay. Because it looks like you reach like the end of a chapter. It's a new page with a new heading. Eighteen. Okay. He didn't say to stop. You, maybe you could stop. The probably you're supposed to keep going if he didn't say to stop. <laughs> Shall like keep reading, and is Histon still in the room? Yeah. Shall like should there like a why is there not a book stand to hold it open <laughs> if she's gonna drop it five times? That is true. That's a good question. Is there nothing in front of her? No, there's nothing in front of her. Okay, then she's gonna hit like her thigh or something, just something to make noise, like okay. trying to summon Histon, like get him to look at her and be like, "Am I supposed to keep reading?" He's like, yes, yes, keep reading, keep reading. Okay, she's gonna keep reading. And he's gonna go, oh, wait, no, wait, no, 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 don't read, don't read, don't read. We're not ready yet. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Which one is it? Don't read, just wait up there, alright? Wait there. Okay. She's gonna wait. And... He'll he'll walk over and yeah. Oh, excuse me, I, I I hate to interrupt. Yes. What? 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 Oh, yes, yes. Of course, yes. Hello, sir. Um, it, presenting. No, it's my job. It's not your job. It's a just introduce him, and we can get this over with. Isn't that right, apprentice? Yes. Wonderful. It is she, right. She's very eager to meet him. <laughs> yeah. Um, fine. Fine. Presenting his eminence. Uh... Damn it, I forgot his name. See, I told you it was my job. I practiced his name. I know his name. You don't know his name. Well, if you know his name, why don't you say it? Fine, I'll say it. I'll say it. I still think it was my... Well, then you failed at your job. Oh, how dare you? Okay. Presenting his eminence, Radna Upel. And uh, this kind of hooded and masked figure, red fur, lion paws for feet... Kind of a silvery scale-like upper body, mostly covered in hoods except for his clawed hands, and what you can kind of see around his orange cat-like eyes. A large, inky black tail that looks kind of like an octopus tentacle with, with purplish bioluminescence streaking through it. Comes from his, his behind. Abigail, as he turns, uh, enters and turns to, to greet Histon, give me a perception check. Is he about to kill Histon right now? <laughs> that would be absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what do I do? Perception? Oh, that's a beautiful nat one. Seven. Oh. Oof. Well, whatever's <laughs> going on with him, you don't have a clue. Cool. Not important, right? Not with being no, that just walks through the just portal. Just keep reading. No, I'm not reading. I can't. <clears throat> he said, wait. <laughs> so, whatever's going on. Yeah, sure, it's fine. He said, keep reading. You're going to keep reading. No, he didn't. Oh he yeah, said, he said here. don't read. That's right, that's right. Uh, 
So as as you're standing there, they begin to they begin to talk, and it's kind of hushed tones. And with the net one, you can't tell what they're saying. Um, wonderful. Oh God, she can't. She can't be sassy here. She's gonna get disintegrated. Great. What are you? Th no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah. Go for it if you want to. Uh, well, okay. She knows the demon in the back at least is mm -hmm. very scary, right? Oh yeah. This guy, <laughs> okay. you have no idea who he is. I don't know who Rena is. Very scary demon in the back. Do I know he could just walk through? Yeah, he could definitely walk demon. through. The portal's okay. open. Okay. And then the portal, oh. and then the one on the left that seems to just be an empty room. No, it's in a live thing. Realm. Right? The room appears to be empty, but yeah, the, the realm itself appears to kind of be alive. How long are they secretly discussing? Uh, a few minutes. Okay, no, she, she'll... She can tolerate a few minutes. She won't say anything. Uh huh. Yeah, she totally can. She can. She knows the big demon scary thing at least. Fair she enough. She can go two minutes I'm without sure she being. Can. She can. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Prove it. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm doing it right now. She's not gonna say anything for the first two minutes that they're talking. If oh. it goes on past Well, if they go for five. Oh. I said a few, not a couple. Ah. Well, she's gonna kind of like... This, Histon is probably looking direct... Are they looking at each other? Mm -hmm. So I can't like make a subtle signal. Give me a... Um, wait, we don't have a convince check. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Give me a, um, per, uh, yeah, we'll do a perception. No, persuasion. Okay. Cool, so that's better. I'm rolling like shit, though. 13. Not enough. You don't get his attention. Ah. <laughs> Just kick him. She's like, hey. Well, she's... she's I have something that she would away. do. <laughs> I know what she would do. But I'm like, is she smart enough to not do it? Uh oh. Is my question. Should I make a roll for that? Make, if she a, can... make an intelligence check. Okay. Maybe that one. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that's no. wisdom. Intelligence is book smarts. Wisdom is. Should I do this in public? <laughs> okay, wisdom check. You're, intelligence. You're, doing, an imp you're <laughs> doing what Sir Wellington has done a lot of impulse yeah. checks. Yeah, you are. You know. Intelligence nine. is... Nine? Yeah, no, you don't know right there. So, intelligence is, do I know how to summon a demon? And wisdom is, do I know that I shouldn't summon a demon? Those oh, yeah. <laughs> so she knows she shouldn't summon a demon, but she has just summoned a demon. What so clearly... You know, you... One well, of I mean, them is a demon. To oh, be yeah. fair, Ab yeah, Abigail would think that uh, he's a demon, probably, because it's like... Oh, One no. of them is, though. One of she them is definitely that. a demon. The other she two doesn't are unknown. Know the other. Yeah. This is this is a the equivalent of a Zoom group call. <laughs> okay, so she, she fails that check, right? With a nine, yes. <laughs> okay, so at minute like three, she's gonna she's addressing Histon at the very least, okay. not the guy. She's like. Hello, apprentice here. What's what's happening? We are currently working things out. If you'll excuse us, so patient. What's happening? I am trying to work out a deal here. I thought he was your friend. <laughs> <laughs> and how long does it go after that? The rest of the five minutes, like another. Okay, two that's minutes. fine. Yeah, that's fine. She's okay with that. She'll live with that answer. Um, She'll live. Doesn't however, mean all the other people around her will live. <laughs> Fair. 
Um, he, he, uh, he, she did draw the attention of, of the, uh, the Radu Bell guy, however, and he will... Yeah, that's what I was worried kind of about. Walk over after they finish talking, and he'll kind of look up at her and go, So you are his, um, his apprentice, are you not? Yes, something like that. For you, if I may ask. To know whether boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just realized that you said. <laughs> boy. <laughs> Would you like to know? <laughs> weather boy. <laughs> I do not have to answer you. You're kind of beneath me. Shit, okay, I said if I may ask. Oh, Abigail, please get a, a red spider oh, man. Uh, I would be so glad. <laughs> Fine then, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Kind of beneath you. I'm standing on a higher platform than you, though. <laughs> right now, I'm slightly above you. Your logic does not make sense. Hmm. Above, beneath, height. It's very simple, really. Physical height does not equal cosmic power. Okay, this guy is super fun at parties. He really gets <laughs> jokes. Super well, guys. Says the person who didn't understand that evil is killing someone and good is not killing someone. Yeah, That's but right. you can still be fun at parties. <laughs> Fair enough. I but didn't kill the people at the party, so I, you know I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't kill anyone. They just died when I smacked them repeatedly no, they didn't. They with didn't a kill. hammer. I only killed the thrall at the parties. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, they don't wow. matter. It's okay. You did to them what you did to your fish. I overfed them. <laughs> it's fine. You can. Sorry for asking. Carry on. I will. He'll say something in a language you've never heard. Man, then I wish a Wellington could hear it. Yeah. And then he'll turn and walk away. And Hiss will walk over. What are you doing? I'm waving goodbye. Don't, don't make us look bad. I didn't make us look bad. Picking an argument it, with an interdimensional it, being it, makes Hiss us look pretty fixing, bad. Fi Histon's fixing his hair, trying to, like, really, like... <laughs> <Right? laughs> Hey, how's it going? He still looks like a complete <laughs> mad scientist kind of thing, but he's like, he's trying to look better for once. <laughs> what do you mean picking an argument? He asked, I asked a simple question. He got all offended and pissy. <laughs> I was super respectful too. I even said like, may I ask a question? He's well... He is not one to pester, if you understand my I meaning. This is a man who's about to conquer whole worlds. Or destroy them, I don't really know which one he plans to do, or, or care for that matter. But still, the point is, we want to be on his good side. I want to be on his good side. I don't give a fuck about you, but don't make me look bad, okay? His true colors are showing. He just said he doesn't give a fuck about you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I, know. I saw that, that was obvious. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> now it's just confirmed. <laughs> now I'm thinking, should I make him look bad on purpose? <laughs> Does um, Abigail actually realize that he finally realized that he doesn't care about her at all? Well, I mean, I don't, she, I don't think she... I don't think I don't think she ever thought did. there was a deep connection. Like... They argued all the time. I'm sorry, deep connection? <laughs> I said, I don't think she ever th thought there was a deep connection. Yeah, I she thought not. there was any connection? 
Right? That's what's confusing uh-huh. me. I'm like, I'm sorry, did she think there was ever any connection? <laughs> well, like a mutual, like, not even respect, but like a tolerance of like, okay. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a wonderful reference for the thing. Eh, okay. It basically tolerates you like a puppy. You are in his eyes. You are a puppy. An annoying puppy. What? But yeah, puppy. I guess. <laughs> I'm like, she's much more unpleasant. <laughs> You're a puppy that just takes shits in the middle of the hallway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Throws up in her bed in the morning. <laughs> so when you said you could prevent certain places from being hurt. Did you mean that? Or are we relying on this nice guy right here? Uh, no, no, th- th- this is... Yeah, well, it, yes, I'm, I'm kind of relying on him. He looks visibly uncomfortable at the question. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So you're saying you're not powerful enough? So how fragile is this connection? You seem pretty nervous about it. Um, I have agreed to help him set up these portals. He has not yet. Once I do that, we will discuss terms of him opening up a portal for me to access other continents. Oh, you dumb bitch. Do, okay. Uh, I feel like player for knowledge versus character ha- knowledge For here. how for yeah. how high Histon's intelligence is, he must have a really low wisdom. He does. That, he has that, a that's wisdom like of eight. The, yeah, that explains yeah, it. Yeah, that explains a lot. He's just like, okay. Really yeah, smart. Yeah, like, not so good on the social aspect. Can I, like... Can okay, I'll say can Abigail guess or assume that this guy's probably not even gonna cooperate with Histon? Can roll she make a, a roll? wisdom check for me? <laughs> oh no, I also oh. Have shit. oh or insight, wisdom or insight. Let's do insight. Wisdom, if you, if you want to just determine generally how smart is Abigail in these situations. Insight, if you're trying to specifically read this fish guy. Lionfish guy. That's a high <laughs> lionfish. I'm trying to read the lionfish guy. Oh wow, a six. Hey, I shouldn't have done insight because she always you believe rolls him four. as well. Good job. He'll probably <laughs> open up the portal for you once you're, you've done this for him. It's just a pain Damn up it. front deal. <laughs> okay. Yay. Mm, shit. <laughs> I'm just as dumb. <laughs> the two uh, people with highest intelligence but lowest wisdom happen to team up. Uh, why, why is it that I that Sir Wellington has a higher intelligence, not intelligence, wisdom than Histon? <laughs> right? <laughs> because I mean, be, it, be, besides <laughs> strict level, they're on par. Right? Actually, Sir Wellington's better. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> and then... You got freaking yeah. Don't, they got Marcus. Who's like, on yeah, Histon. no. Histon had a worse mentor than uh, than Sir Wellington did growing up. <laughs> like if Marcus got like I can see he would have been like, yeah. "You do realize that y'all are idiots right now?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna look at him like, "Oh God." So <laughs> he'd be like, "You know what? I don't need to ter- kill you. I think you're just gonna get it done yourself." <laughs> He just will look at everything that happens and goes, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and read my book. Y'all are going to kill yourself easily. So from what I saw from the fish person, what I'm get, or I know his name, Radna. Um, <clears throat> she Radna thinks that Brooke. she thinks that he would pay his and specific, he will specifically pay his and back, or she thinks that whoever helps him achieve his goals will be rewarded. With a six, you believe that it's probably a payment up front deal to Histon, but there's also a really good chance that whoever helps him get his 
accomplish his goals would be the one to be rewarded and, and obtain favor in his eyes. What do you mean by payment up front deal? You've opened the portal. Payment You've up front. You've opened the portal. Good That's, job. Yeah, he paid, Hitson has paid him up front by opening these portals now. Um, okay, and, no, but Radna would help Hitson now. Yes, the fact that he's still holding out makes you think that maybe there's something more yeah. in form of a in the form of a reward that he wants whoever whoever succeeds would be would obtain favor in his eyes. Wait, but I'm I'm talking about I, I'm just not sure I just wanna make sure. What Abigail's trying to figure out is if Radna will actually fill out his end of the bargain. Yeah, yeah. She believes he She would. thinks he Specifically to Hissen in this scenario now, or to anyone who would help him? To whoever helps him. And His loyalties are not expressly to Hissen, Okay. but he will definitely be fulfilling promises to whoever helps him. Okay. Do... Okay. Okay, so yeah, what do you want to do with that information? Like, does she think, though, that if she got in contact with... Well, she wanted to talk to her right now, he's right there, apparently. And somehow flip Histon's favor negatively. Would she be able to change anything? With a six wisdom? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. And also, Histon seemed pretty nervous about her acting. <laughs> He's like, don't make us look bad. So she would probably have that impression as well. Yeah, that's true. Because he's desperate to not be made to look bad. Yeah. What did he Sorry, he said... I don't remember what he said last, but she's going to kind of like... nod as she thinks about all of this. <laughs> Of course you will. So, who exactly is this guy? How do you know him? <laughs> Roll persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Watch>. me. <laughs> oh, come on, it was so close to 29. Nine? Yeah. Like an angry German. Why would you even want to know? This guy is seriously dangerous. You don't want to deal with him. Let me talk to him, okay? I'll handle everything about him. You don't need to know a thing, alright? Just because precisely he is so dangerous, I don't know what shit could come up. I don't even know anything. I went in very blind to this, and now you're like... Yeah, no, just don't say anything stupid. I didn't, and you're getting all butthurt because I apparently said something offensive. Roll persuasion again with advantage, because that was actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I don't need to. Now I got a 20. 27. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, okay, tell me. Yes. Damn. Help me so I can fuck you over. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not gonna do that. Totally uh -huh. not. I'm not. We totally believe you. Mm-hmm. Roll deception. <laughs> yeah, actually. To the GM. <laughs> oh, I didn't say that to oh. him, obviously. Okay. <laughs> Dude. I wouldn't <laughs> No, I meant I meant roll deception against players to see to okay, see if okay. we believe you. 
I haven't decided yet, so I don't know if it's deception or persuasion. Fine, very well. He is a, um... He's Nick. Okay, he glances to make sure he's not listening at the moment. Yeah, he goes, so, Radna is, a, is an, uh, he's an Ichthysandras. It's, um, a species from his world, universe, place, thing. And, um, apparently he decimated his own universe in searching for power. I don't know how he did it, but he's got a bit of a reputation. And, um, he's looking for something in our realm. And if we help him, we get rewarded. In our case, portals to other worlds. I'm just trying to work out a little bit of, um, sweetening of the deal, you know? I mean, he can do more. He's very powerful. He can definitely do more than, um, oh, measly portal opening for us, you know, we're doing that. So, I'm, I'm trying to work out a deal to kind of help boost our power. If he can maybe conquer a few continents and, and set me in charge, it would make things a lot easier, you know? I just, I just need to make sure I'm in his good graces and that this goes very well, so that because um, we already got the portal thing, obviously, but, it's, you know, I'm trying to work, it, work, work some things out here. Where does the portal take us? Be... Those three portals? Oh, those aren't for us. Those are for his little group meeting thing here. Why don't we just open the portal? But I mean, we, we can and we will after we finish helping him. Aren't we finished helping him? No, not yet. Once the meeting concludes, we will finish helping him. Ugh. <sighs> What are you talking about conquering fucking continents? I just want to go back home. If we are in charge of continent, we have... Un wait, I, sorry. I have unlimited access I w yeah, to... I don't... Who gives a fuck about you? I can uh -huh. unlimited <laughs> access to... Nice slip of the tongue with the we, though. ...subjects and stuff like that. Does that make sense? Which continents? I was thinking, um... Well, we want magical stuff, so... If we want to blend in more, I'm thinking, um... Favash would be a good one, uh, Galeid, that would be a good one. Um... Uh, Veltan, that would be wonderful. Um, no, um, not that one. That is where I live. Fine! Not that one. You can ask him if you want to be in charge of that one for all I care. I don't want to be in charge of shit! Do you know how much fucking work that is? Perfect. More for me. Like, you can't like, be in charge of it either! Like, my dad's gonna be in charge Says of who? it. Says <laughs> who? Me, right now, I'm saying it. You're in no position to barter here. Yes, I am. No, you're not. I think I am, though. I'm going to finish my conversation with Radna, and you are not going to misbehave. Is that understood? I think I would very much like to misbehave if you think you're conquering my fucking continent. <laughs> really? And what exactly would you define as misbehaving? Oh, the worst shit you can think of. Radna's gonna fucking hate you. So much. Oh my god. It's gonna be unimaginable. Roll deception. <laughs> that feels like a bluff. I mean, yeah, it's an exaggeration, I guess. But it... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a bluff. Well, yeah. A gonna bluff? Just projectile vomit on Histon, so he just vomits all a over bluff Radna. That Wait, a bluff that she would misbehave or a bluff that she would do the worst shit imaginable? The worst shit imaginable. Okay, okay, yeah, that is. 
Like she's not bluffing when she says she will do shit. Because like, he believes that she'd do shit, but he doesn't believe she could do that much <laughs> shit. He's like, yes, I know you will do shit. I have unfortunately spent enough time with you to know you will do shit. That is a 21 for deception. He's going to raise an eyebrow and go. All right, I will consider talking to him about not conquering Velton. Will that make you happier? And I will consider not be misbehaving. Wonderful. That's good enough for you? I was hoping you would say I won't do it, and then I would say I won't do it. I don't make promises with underlings, but I will look into it. How about that? Okay. Underling my ass. Go do it. My original will... plan was to conquer this entire planet, but, um... You like sucking the joy out of everything, and he'll start walking back to, to Radna. Yes, I do. <laughs> and I don't forget. <laughs> can she, like, see what. Can she try and. Sp not spot. Uh, yeah. yeah it's a damn pier. Of course she loves sucking. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny. Can she what? Over here, naturally, and if not, Roll she's gonna perception. try. And... If she can't over here naturally, she's gonna try. And... S -s -s Stealth it, Stealth which is very it. dumb, but she's gonna do it. Like spy on them. I don't know. Go. Uh, perception. You said. Mm -hmm. Eh. Fourteen. No, she can't hear what they're saying. Okay. How far are they though? They're about uh, 30 feet away. They're on the other okay. side of the room. Does she have any stealthy spells? I don't think so. Uh. Miss no invisibility over here. Yeah. Sorry. Hissen can also track invisibility, apparently. Well. Um, he does have the spell C invisibility. Yeah, but it doesn't mean he would cast it. No, because he wouldn't necessarily know. Yeah. I'll just... Delph, then? Ugh. That's so risky. Risk it for the biscuit, that's what D&D's about. So wait, what are you wait. trying to do? You're trying to sneak over? Actually, I'm undecided. Okay. I don't know if she would... Sneak over... Or if she would just walk in confident that she's allowed to be there. Uh, well, I feel like, no, actually, if she walks in, they're probably just going to stay like, go away. And they're not going to talk about what Fair they enough. have to talk about. So she's going to stealth. All right. You can roll stealth. Don't kill me. Oh, that's so bad. That's a two for a total of eight. Oh. You, uh, you take a step back to, so to try and back off of your, your pedestal and go over, and you suddenly feel a pulse of energy lock your feet into place mid-step. Oh, uh, what? Okay. But you do it very loudly and you get their attention, but you realize... You're currently part of the energy holding this conduit open, and if you step down, you could create a wonderful explosion. So the magic of the spell is actually holding you in place to make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't inadvertently cast Disintegrate times 10 on yourself. Did she know that that was part of the... No, no, this was not told to her. <laughs> of course. This was definite. This is definitely news to her. Is Histon and Radna both in your shot, or just Histon? They're both in your shot. Like the demons in your shot. <laughs> okay. No, actually, I was gonna say she was gonna yell at him, but actually, it's kind of like telling on yourself if you do that. They already know, but still. Okay, she's just... Fine. 
She's not gonna move then, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Just stare daggers at him. <laughs> Isn't he behind me? In front of me? They're, they're in front on the far side of the room over by the door, but that's why I said you were backing off, is because if you were going uh, forward, okay. you're going into the line of sight. If you're going backward, you're hiding behind the other people. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Smart. Okay. All right, yeah, she's just going to stare at him. <laughs> 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 Bitch. <laughs> um, we'll tab back over to the flashback of Sir Wellington. So Sir Wellington, at this point... You are nicely cleaned up, and you come at back outside, and you're talking with him, and all so of a sudden, I was, what? Uh, it's like, I was curious, how long has it been since I disappeared for you? For me? Oh, well, for me, that's, uh, let's see, I've been And I about down six years now. Okay. That's not concerning at all. Okay. We need to get back as soon as possible then. Yeah. Yes, definitely. That would probably be a good idea. Ooh. And uh, all of a sudden, like, portals begin to open all over the place. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, my. Oh, oh, no. And he kind of looks as, as various individuals start rushing towards the portals. And he's like, oh, this isn't good at all, is it? I don't think so. So, you, you're telling me, Jan, this, this, this was something that your so-called um, not friend did? I think so. Oh, dear me. It would probably be good to uh, find a way back. Um, all right. Um, I, I'm not coming with you. I don't want to go over there. <laughs> not for me. Okay. That's uh, that's okay. Um, I do want to be able to... Uh, how do I get back if I want to see you, though? Ah, here. Yeah. About that. You'll find, like, keep this on your person. You can use that to teleport back anytime you need to. Oh, okay. Um, uh, 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 also, also tell Al that, that, uh, I've been pranking lots of people. <laughs> oh, that's my boy. I'll definitely tell. <laughs> that's amazing. Keep it up. Yeah, I, fig I figured he would enjoy knowing. Oh, most definitely. As you begin to walk away, you go, Oh, one more thing. Yes. Be careful, Hanala. Okay. It's. I, I, will, I will do. I will do my best. Uh, and, uh. Yeah. I will hopefully see you, I guess, sooner than six years. I can understand why you were shocked to see me, but also, yeah. It doesn't always. Time varies here, don't worry. Okay. I'll be safe. And he's gonna jump through <laughs> portal. Alright. Be, be safe, Ihamala! You've got this. And um, now we'll jump forward again to you two as Marcus inserts the key and turns it. And the decorative, like the floral print and the, just the artwork embossed into this door embossment all begin to glow, including the archway of the door. <laughs> And it kind of, it kind of, it's like an elven. It kind of like goes up and then swoops into kind of a point for the, the doorway. And um, Sir Wellington just goes up, puts the hand on, and says, "Friend." <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, the book. The Marcus will just look down and just. Uh. A number of pages in the book, prayer book that that you're holding, begin to glow as well, Marcus. Okay, yeah. He's immediately going to go toward the pages that are glowing. Or a page is glowing. 
Fair enough. Um, the the text of the the prayer of um. Um, the the prayer of pilgrimage from pages six sixty six to six sixty eight are all glowing. Okay. Yeah. He's gonna cite the prayer then. All right. As you do so, <clears throat> as you do so, the words like eat, as you read each word, it then glows a different color. So it's they're all glowing yellow now, and then they glow a bright green, with a kind of a, a yellowish trim around them as you read each word. And as you reach the final one, you hear this almost like a bell ringing. A deep chapel bell ringing. And with each, it rings nine times. And that rings one more. And then a pause. And then one more. And then a pause. And then one more. Another pause. And then one more. And on the thirteenth chime, you hear the sound of bolts unlocking and the door swings open. And on the other side, you see Celestia, the realm of the gods. Marcus is absolutely just mind boggled at this. He is like. Sir Wellington just tugs on Marcus's cloak. He's like, Did, did you know that that was going to happen? Uh. I, I knew the door would open, but not to. Not to, mm, not that's, to a really, that's a really pretty place. That, that is Celeste. That, so, there's a there's a portal to Celeste here? Celeste here? <laughs> so, does this mean like this is the other sanctuary here? And It could be the other sanctuary here. We could get people oh. out through here. Okay. Oh, by, by golly, I'm naming all the gods. This is amazing. Wait, are, are, are we supposed to go? Can we go look at Sir Wellington? Are we supposed to go in? Can we go you, in? You should, can, Am I allowed can, to go in? Th th throw, me, throw me through. Um, it, 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 just, just, just trust me. Y you know what? I'm going to do it. All right. <laughs> He's going to just crash. Sir Wellington and toss him. As he gets tossed, he goes, he yells, alley -oop! As he goes through. <laughs> you go, <laughs> and you feel your form tremble and shiver. Oh. That and didn't feel to great. Marcus, it looks like. You remember those old games where the character would, like, glitch out and they're just kind of, like, pixels for a moment and they're almost, like, gone? <laughs> it kind of looks like that. He, like, kind of goes, like, pixelated oh. and just, like, looks like he's dissipating into thin air and then re-solidifies and crashes to the ground. Like, in Celeste? Celeste yeah, as soon as he or... enters through there. He's gonna go, all right, okay. And he's gonna, like, just kind of gear himself up, just like, oh, gonna be at the only guys, be at the only guys. Do I look good? I don't have a mirror. Fuck. Alright. Uh, no thing of holy water. Alright. I'm just gonna hope I look good. And he's just gonna walk through the portal. You you walk on in, nothing happens, you're good. Give me a perception check, both of you. Ooh, awesome. 19. Alright. Eight. Sir Wellington, you're kind of dazed from that entrance. Yeah. Marcus, as I, you enter... I think there's a glitch in the door. <laughs> <laughs> He's not paying... He is too stoked at this point. <laughs> he is... Marcus just steps over you and keeps going, looking around <laughs> like this kid in a candy store. <clears throat> You are in a large courtyard beyond which are beautiful fields and mountains. So you're kind of like on the top of a hill. Mm -hmm. And standing in this courtyard are a number of beings that you recognize as guardians. Um, 
And they kind of, like, turn and look at you. They, they, they're tall and kind of, like, they look like winged lions that, that are bipedal. So kind of uh, oh, okay. human, humanoid, yeah, almost like winged Leonin for for lack of description. I was about to say like but, a winged Leonin. But with very gold-like fur instead of the more earthy tones of, of Leonin. Very much golden, almost shimmering Pantora like, hair commercial fur. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, no, he's going to like look around and then see the Guardians and just like immediately just drop in prayer and reverence just Dude, he is he is living the freaking life right now. Rise, my acolyte. A voice from behind him speaks. Is that Allie or is it, it is Allie? Yeah. Okay, I'm like, I don't know about you. Anyway, he's gonna like just kind of lean up and just start to rise and still make himself presentable. He has his arms just kind of folded like this. Just, you know. The the guards of the guardians of the gate kind of kind of like they kind of look confused for a moment and then like ready their weapons at, at Marcus and Sir Wellington. Oh wait 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 we're we're not I I I'm on Is he speaking in Celestial? I hope so. Yes, he is okay, speaking Celestial at this point. He's speaking Celestial. I am Southern accent Celestial. That'd be so interesting. Anyway, mm. uh, I am here from because I'm on a mission from uh, Allie. I have a mission that's blessed by Allie, and she led us here to the temple, and the temple kind of opened up here. Am, am I allowed to be here? Can I be here? The guardians look to to Ali and, and, and back to you. you know, this portal is not to be used by anyone. What do you think you're doing? And she steps forward and says, "There are dire circumstances that require my attention. Not all rules are meant to be kept blindly." So, wait, Marcus is literally in front of a god right now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, he and, is... And uh, two Celestial Gardens. Guardians. You know, he is, uh... What does she look like? <laughs> um... Tall, about 15 feet tall. A, um... Oh, so Greek god kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she is... Hey, cooperate with me, pal. She, uh... Oh, well, that's why I couldn't find her. That's Legends of Kralos notes. Um, Friday night. Not this week, though, unfortunately. He looks, he um, looks at her. She wears kind of a gold and, and, and green kind of leaf-like boots. And she has a, a winged scepter in her, in her left hand. Um, kind of earthy, greenish-brown and, and tan robes with a, a small belt and a sash around her waist. Um... Well, not really robes, more like a shirt and pants. And um, long white hair tucked behind elven ears with, with kind of a, a reddish streak in her bangs. And I'll put her in the for you. Just looks at her and goes, D we have another companion who probably would really enjoy seeing you because he was saying, all I want to do is see you turn into a giant woman. Marcus will just kind of look back at her while I took just go, just this look of like, Please don't do anything. Just shut up. Please. She looks down at him in great confusion and goes, Very well. Um, You are a strange one to be here. But nevertheless, I will allow it. I, I have been told I've been strange for most places, so that doesn't surprise me. Indeed. Uh, Ali, if I may, he may be a little bit... Uh... He may like to prank, not like he loves to prank people. He he he's fine. I assure you, just a little rambunctious is all. She, she smiles softly. And goes, I'm sure. And the guards go, ma'am. We need to take them in, and we need to shut the door. May may we see that key, sir? You are not permitted to have that. Uh, 
Yeah. And he'll, like, give him the key. Okay. The guard, like, takes it. He goes... I mean, it was kind of on the altar, to be fair. In the name of Elion the Creator, you are under arrest. Wait, what? Now, boys, there is no need for such dire reaction. Oh, what the... F what Just... the fudge? I'm sorry, ma'am, but they are not permitted to be here. And I say they are. On... We are following orders. We are going to follow them to the end. You're going to find it's me. Just... Don't. That's stupid. Yeah, what she said. Yeah, I dang. Well, I am. I am sorry, but orders are orders, and you are breaking the law, and they will. Take Battle Ray Sansa's roll initiative. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Dude has been arrested twice in one <laughs> month. Uh, that's a. Uh... What is my. That is a 19. Alright. As you guys are rolling initiative, we'll tab back over to Abigail. Abigail, as you're there, kind of. Um, they finish up their talking and he looks back and sees you staring daggers at him. No! <laughs> I need to roll for that. No, you don't need to roll for it. <laughs> no, Radna turns around uh, and sees you staring daggers uh, and he looks like how dare dare you look at me like that? <laughs> I am staring at Histon. Do you glance over at him when he looks back, or are you focused on Histon? At Radna? Yeah, do you glance at him when he looks up back? How, f how, how far apart are they standing? I think they're right next to each other. They're kissing? No, not that close. <laughs> <laughs> Conversational distance. <laughs> Who talks this close? Yeah, that's like... Mm. Yeah, like this idea. close, you know? <laughs> that's so really close. Like this is like four feet away. That's not four no, feet. No, that's that's not. Not. that is like, not four feet this away. This is like two feet. Never mind. Okay, fine. They're like four feet apart. Fine. Okay. They're like they're at um, normal conversation distance. They're like okay. far apart from each other. Are you happy now? Yeah. This far apart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're not kissing. Oh, they they did kiss. <laughs> no, they I don't. Knew it. They don't. <laughs> okay. Coraline walks in. She's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. On her, it gets real weird <laughs> real fast. No, I'm kidding. A normal conversational distance apart from each other, like four feet away from each other. Okay. Okay. Um. Does Radna just like? Because if she's, like, deadlocked on Histon, would she notice Radna, like, how... Is he, like, full me body turned? They're Give far enough check. away that if, if someone looked over at you, you'd That's probably true. notice. Yeah, yeah, we'll say, we'll just give it to you then. You can tell if, he noticed if he, you. Because you're looking at, if you're looking at Histon, that's in your general you're enough direction. You're catching him in your peripheral, yeah. Yeah. She, she'll, like, she'll, like, kind mm. of, like, quickly kind of, like, check what he's doing and then like look back at Histon and then kind of like kind of look at the two kind of like is this over what's going on flip off Radna right. no <laughs> flip off Histon she, well she might do that not right now flip off Histon and make and Radna think she's flipping him off <laughs> die <laughs> In horrific ways. Yeah. Um, he glances back at Hissen and appears to address it, and Hissen looks back and, like, goes, like, What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> to me? It, yeah, he kind of looks at you, like, <laughs> And then. <laughs> He's just expressing, <laughs> being very expressive silently at each other. And he goes back to talking, and after a while, he comes back and goes, all right. 
I believe I have worked out a deal with with his uh, with um, with Radna, and um, now we just have to complete the ritual. So, what the fuck were you staring at me like that for? <laughs> I was making sure you remembered. So say, not to conquer. Well done. Ah. Well, not to worry about. I made sure I specifically requested that. So, your land is safe. Are you happy now? I am happy. Thank you. Good. Hey, you gotta love wording. You're fair enough. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. He decimates <laughs> lands. It's As not it's... safe if everyone's dead. <laughs> exactly. It's it's safe if there's no one to do anything. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. I mean, he did also say I specifically requested that, so don't worry, your land is safe. He didn't the say land. what he requested. <laughs> the land is safe. Well, <laughs> the people know. But it's okay. Abigail's not rolling inside apparently, so we're good. Um, he goes, all right, so. We just need to proceed with, with with the ritual. You need to read the rest of the ritual. You can start on the next chapter now. It's all right. What's going to happen? We're going to commune with the, the Sibriex. Is it Sibriex? Sibriex? Sibriex. I don't know. I only Cibriex. read it as well. Sibriex. We're going to commune with the Sibriex. And then it will in turn open the portals we need. Okay, and how long will they stay open? Um, I, I didn't ask that. Do I need to go ask that? Well, we have to go through, don't we? Oh, for long enough. Plenty long enough for us to go through. Like, I think they stay open for a few weeks. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Yes. Well, just in case... What happens if I were like... You didn't fucking tell me this thing was coursing through me as well, by the way. You couldn't tell when the energy hit you every time? Well, I knew it was hitting me, which you also didn't tell me it was going to do. But also... It's I'm sorry, I didn't like detail every specific facet of minute information that happens to be involved. Oh, yes, like there will be volts of energy coursing through you, <laughs> as well as a multi dimensional being. But they didn't seem important for you to know. Uh huh. Okay. Well, let's go then. Oh Got it, yeah, Did you have questions or about it, or good. are you good? I just have to read this? Yes, you just have to read it, and then we're good to go. Where do I stop now? Because you didn't tell me that either. <laughs> Yeah, he like flips right there, right there, and it kind of like goes to an end point. Yeah. And then it has like some arcane sigils written after it. It's like once you get to there, it's taken care of. And what happens to the people in the ark? Like, are we chill after that? It, you should be fine. Don't worry about a thing, all right? Just don't fuck this up. Yeah. Should be fine. Or will be fine. As long as nothing goes wrong, you should be fine. Oh, God. Okay, go. If nothing else, I'll be fine, and that's what matters. So. Oh, you won't be fine if I'm not fine. Trust me. Uh, really? Aren't you a sassy little thing? Did you really just notice that? There's no way. Oh, I've noticed. <laughs> Okay, good. I was a little worried you were starting to get the dimension. I'm just commenting thing. on it. Oh, he's just gonna like turn on his heel and walk away. <laughs> and Stop reading, Abigail. It's quite important. Okay. No, he just forgot he had dementia. Oh, yeah. wait! I almost forgot, and he's gonna run back. 
Oh, you really? forgot. He flips back to the page with the arcane sigils, and he'll flip back one page. And there's a little paragraph with, like, an arcane symbol between that one and then the re- that last paragraph before the others. You have to stop right there. Right there. Right there. All right? Okay. Because... I'm going to need you to power through whatever fucking shit is going in your brain and make sure you process every single thing right now, Okay. Yes, Look right. at me. You got it? You got it? Okay. I don't think I you got it. I just want to communicate with the Cibriex <coughs> as well, just in case Radna is, you know, hesitant to make good on his part of the deal, because the Cibriex is the one that actually opens the portals, so if the Cibriex is, you know, I, anyhow, if you continue through the rest of it, then it completes the entire situation, and I can't commune with the Cibriex anymore, so I just need you to do that for me, alright? Um, just a warning about right here, when that arcane sigil lights up, you will become a conduit for communication between me and the Cypriax. I do apologize for that, but I did not want to do this ritual myself. So, um... What does I, that mean? It simply means you're going to hear its voice in your head, and you will have to communicate what it says to me. And... Will and then I when I, say, I, I speak to you, and then it you... what you yes, say? Yes, you will. Oh, good, I like this game. <laughs> Go do it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, sounds like a plan. <laughs> Let me do that. Go do it. <laughs> he forgot. Until this moment, he had completely forgotten that was a thing. <laughs> He's gonna allow me to do that. He doesn't have a choice. He can't get you off the pedestal. You're glued to it. Oh, <laughs> no. Do it. He blanked <laughs> out about that entire portion of it until uh, this very moment. <laughs> oh, you poor soul. <laughs> So, do, I, do I behave or do I misbehave is the I question. You'll have a week to think on it because that is where we'll end the session. And uh, okay. um, the, the season finale will be next week. Um, and then we will begin, I guess, what is either, I don't know, is it meat season or season finale? We'll figure it out once we get there. Um, and then uh, begin the, the second half of this tale. So, uh, yes, thank you all for joining us. Uh, unfortunately, Callie was not able to use her mic because of work being noisy and troublesome. Um, outros, everyone. Uh, Sir Wellington, would you like to start? Sure. Uh, I, I'm Sir Wellington. Uh, I was with Kevin. Uh, but, yeah, otherwise you can find me on social medias uh, as artful underscore thinking. Um, Unfortunately for me, next week will be my last week for a little while, um, but it will be good. And then I'll come back and see where things are, and hopefully if people are still alive. Or not. Yeah. I, I think we might know some of that by the end of next week, but yeah. Probably. Uh, Marcus? I play Marcus, the cleric who currently is definitely having a crisis of faith due to the fact that he's being attacked by two guardians. <laughs> Meets like, God. God says, help me fight my angels. <laughs> <laughs> no, God's like, come help me, angels. <laughs> I, I just don't know. Poor hmm. Marcus is like, I literally am in the realm of the gods, and I still get arrested. Yep. But, yeah. That's I gotta say. Alright, and Abigail. I'm Naz. I play Abigail. You want to give a uh, plug for our other team? No, I'm kidding. Legends of Kralis. <laughs> Is it even happening tomorrow? It's no, not. it's not happening it's not for happening two, weeks. two more weeks. We get three I'm weeks before we play. I'm sorry. I'm furious. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna okay? have like two solid weeks with no D and D or LOK of any kind here. It's very why exciting. next week we play. Well, next week we play, but I think the week after that we're actually gonna be off because it's Fourth of July week. Oh yeah. Oh, are so. we off for that? I think we are. Why? Oh, you're ta- you're talking to people who are Americans you're who are to going, Americans. You, who are going we to like, celebrate major... Yeehaw Day. We, we, why? Yeah. Because that was the day we kicked England's butt and got free our, our own nation that we then proceeded to. Well, so, like you do that's things on that day. Yeah. They they go on barbecue stuff. No, I, think I don't that was, do anything. I think that was I don't do anything. the day things got signed. Yeah. Um, well, actually, no. That was the no, day that was things the day... were publicized. Yeah, things were because publicized. they actually signed it all on July, 
uh, second, but it was widely distributed. Yeah, yeah exactly. Born, born seller. It was a good day. It was a good day. <laughs> yeah, and anyway, best part about this uh, freaking uh, 4th of July, though, is I'll be in Cheyenne, where all kinds of fireworks are oh, legal. Oh, no. That'll be fun. That and New Hampshire are probably two different places where they are. That means the skies will I mean, be so New Hampshire, high. everything's legal, actually. It's, People were firing it's not gonna be, literal cannons. I guarantee you it's not going to be as nice as the fireworks here. I, I messed up my... Dude, That's Japan true. has some of the best fireworks I have ever seen. Like, I, my mom came and visited, and I took her to a fireworks show. It was my first time at this one. And she walked away from that going, wow. She's like... I don't think I've ever seen that that amazing of a fireworks show ever. Wow. Um, I don't think they're going to... Do they do stuff? No, they don't do stuff for July 4th. So. Not for the July, but like in <laughs> August, we're going to... I'm like, like wait for, a minute. For Obon, we're going to have stuff. Okay, cool. I'm like, wait a minute, what? Um, yeah, so uh, join us. We have... Uh, let me see. Uh, so on Mondays, this channel has... The Iwin Adventures, join us for that. Tuesdays, we have a uh, new campaign, State of the Union. Um, Thursdays, we have us, The Lost Continent. Next week will be our season finale or mid-season finale, however that's going to work. I um, think it's mid-season finale. Uh, our mid-season finale. Um, and then Friday is Legends of Kralis normally, but for the next two weeks, it will be off, unfortunately, because life happens, and Nazir is going to run a freaking Iron Man. So you got this. Thank you. Um, run, run, your run, character's run, opening run, portals run, to other dimensions, run, run, and you're run. running an Iron Man. You're just you're you're incredible in every multiverse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> One of those things is very terrible, and okay, the other thing is that, <laughs> except for that. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, it's like, oh no! I just realized something. What the the people in the other chat, not the Milo and. That chat, the like Terrell and Val chat, they're also in Celestia. Oh, oh yeah, no. Yeah. And it's like three years in the future, yeah, four years true. in the future. Yeah, it's about, but... it's about no! two years later. <laughs> oh, no. Who knows? Maybe we'll get arrested and they'll have to rescue him. <laughs> oh, it's like a no. four year time skip. Yeah, this will be the end of Marcus in this campaign and he winds up somewhere else. No, I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. Um, we look Marcus. So, um, yeah, join us for that. And on Sundays, we have Rumors of Magic that happens every other Sunday. Don't remember if it happens this Sunday or not. I think it's the Sunday after this one. I don't remember, though. Um, so, yeah, hope to see you guys soon. Um, stay safe and stay lost, everybody. <laughs>